it's always nice to see you. <laughs> Hi, Zoe. <laughs> She's so excited that you're on. All the children love you. She was like, can I get on too? Oh my God, you look Girl. stunning. Um, you just, you're like glowing. It's because Michael got glowing. this fancy light. <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm so excited you're on. I, I was telling people about you. This is, you're our pastor, but honestly, I feel like you are like a friend and a sister. And like, I feel like God kind of knit us from the same thread. Um, and I'm just so honored that you're on, um, you know, you've like seriously championed me and just really encouraged me to keep going, broke off like even walls and limits and ceilings, not even knowing just by being friends. But today is International Women's Day. So, <laughs> so I just celebrate you because you're such an incredible woman. So Thank I just you. whatever it is you're you're you want you're burning in your heart, you're always burning, but what's burning in your heart this morning, please just share with us. I know we've been on we've been on Israel right now and we've been praying and, you know, Nava's even doing these 3 a.m. Zoom calls with women um, that have been praying during the night. And there's just been this incredible, like, fire and, and burning in women's hearts towards wow. Israel. But I know that's one of the things you burn for. And just want to know, share your heart with us. Yeah, I mean, you know, I... Um... First of all, happy International Women's Day. <laughs> I don't know where that was when I was growing up. I don't know if that was a thing. There's like a I day for so. everything now. Um, <laughs> I don't think so, but yeah. Amen to it. Um, well, I, I just to give a little background, because I, I, God really arrested my heart about Israel about a year ago, um, and I, you know, I had always, I had always thought, oh, I can't wait to go to Israel. I want to go to Israel. And I was thinking of it like, I'll just learn this history. I'll learn. And so I actually got to go. And then a world opened up to me that I didn't know existed in my faith. Um, the only thing I can compare it to, I was raised in a conservative tradition um, that didn't believe in the, the active manifestation of the Holy Spirit. And so no, no, none of the gifts of the spirit, nothing that God doesn't speak. He only speaks through his word. He doesn't, you know, speak through dreams and visions. And, and so the only thing I can compare Israel to for me was when I found out that the Holy Spirit is real for today and a gift for today that his voice wow. is real, that Israel, that was so life altering. Like my whole world went into living color. Um, and Israel is the only thing I can compare what happened to me when I went to Israel and it, and, and I, I recommend everyone go, but I think this can also happen to you. Even if you don't go to Israel, um, mm -hmm. is just the realization that my faith, um, it comes from somewhere, from a real place, from a real people group, with a real bloodline, with a real history, with real, you know, it, and I always, you know, we have the maps in our Bibles and all of that, but good night. It's a real place with a real past, a present, and a future, and I remember standing on the Mount of Olives and Rabbi Jason, who I highly recommend anyone follow if they're wanting to learn more. Um, rabbi Jason Sobel, he's a messianic rabbi, but we were standing on the Mount of Olives. And for some reason, I'm a pastor's kid. I'm a pastor myself. And I just did not understand that when Jesus returns, he's coming. He's, he, yes, he he's going to split the sky, but he's coming to Israel. He's coming to Jerusalem. To an actual place. He's coming to a place. I just had my Bible open to Zechariah 14, where it talks about on that day, it says on that day, his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives that lies before Jerusalem wow. on the east. And so yeah. I just feel this burden for the Western church to be reawakened to the fact that 
your faith has like there is a deep deep grounding in the reality that you like everything about our faith is tied to the jewish people is tied to israel's wow. history and we a lot of that was stolen from us back in the day you know with constantine and i don't need to go in the history but the point is that so much was taken from us that we didn't know is also ours because we've been grafted in and so wow. um anyway there's just there's so much there but i i if i burn for something it's to know that it's to see the church be awakened to the fact that their faith is a jewish faith that it has wow. a jewish history a jewish present and jewish future and no we don't have to become we don't have to adopt a culture um but so much of our kingdom culture has jewish roots to it so when we don't know about those things we're missing so much like true grounding so i want to see wow. the church just awaken to those That's realities so you're uh, i'm tearing up because um yesterday at at uh service i was at service in the morning and um we had a moment where we stood for uh jesus the king and there was this moment of intercession and you know uh they said if you're feeling burdened would you just stand up for intercession and i just felt burdened but i was like give me a clarity of like what am i really standing for mm. and the lord the, the lord said the bride the church mm. um and so i was like whoa like and it was just so clear and right now that i'm hearing you um speak it's just so clear about like an awakening of the the bride like even the global church because i think this is far beyond america yes. it's global yeah. how much we must be taught about standing on the rock and building on the rock which is this yeshua yeah just jewish man yeah um but with you know just with your heart like everything that i've seen from you or you know taken part in with you it's like yes you're a pastor but i think the 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 most beautiful thing i've i've seen you operate in is as wife and as mother and mm -hmm. um you know seeing that you have daughters and you have children and like um how would it be like to teach them you know about israel and um what it really looks like because they they get to learn right from the beginning yeah you know and so yeah. what would you say to like help us because that's something that i'm i want to focus in on even with zoe and everlease yeah and you know how we, can do we love you know it, it's god put it in our nature to love celebration to love um holiday to love um uh, rituals and routines he put it inside of our nature and when he gave the israelites when he took them into the promised land he gave them a whole host of things that they were to do to celebrate but all every celebration every feast everything had tied back into remembering his goodness and his nature and what he had done for them and what when i say things have been stolen from us in in like the modern western church especially it's that it's that we've it, some of the things that have been stolen from us are things that our children had we had we stayed within some of those traditions they would know and they would associate instead of trying to explain what the heck a bunny has to do with the resurrection of jesus you know we don't we don't it just doesn't I'm not yeah. bagging an Easter, but I'm, my point is that it doesn't connect. And I remember yeah. a time when my kids said, well, what is, why, why is it a, why is it a bunny? And why is it? And, and I couldn't explain it to them, but the Lord, when he gave Israel all their celebrations and their feasts, he said, like, this is for your children so that they will know what I'm like. They will know their history. They will know where they're going. And so I think that these there's some just simple keys that even jesus himself he grew up doing like our family we celebrate a we have a shabbat dinner once a week oh sorry um we're not experts
experts at it, but we, but we say prayers that Jesus would have prayed and we bless each other and we take a day to rest every day. And we talk about why are we doing this? Because God created the world in six days and then he rested. And you know, they're, they're three, four, eight, and nine. And my three-year-old, he understands, like, he knows what Shabbat means. It means to stop. <laughs> he means to rest. And he knows that. He knows when we light the candles that what does that represent? It represents the presence of God. And so there's just things that are like, kids were made to connect to concrete things. That's why taking the, doing communion with your children is so important because they connect to concrete things. So, and we as adults do too, right? So when we take the bread and we drink the, yeah. we drink the wine, it's, we're remembering him and they connect to those realities. So in the one hand, I want to say like, no, you don't have to go adopt every Jewish thing, but there is something to be gained and something to be learned as a family. So um, I could keep going, wow. but you know, I'll say this, let me say this, that the day that Laura Hackett came to Upper Room and, and we were, when we were crying out for the Messiah for the Jewish people, she went into this spontaneous song and she said, um, she said, you know, when you love someone, you want to know everything about them. You want to know the, um, you want to know the spices that they grew up eating. You want to know, and, and I marvel when I, re when I think, wow, we can actually participate in things that we know Jesus did every week. Some, something close to this. He would have been wow. saying these prayers, eating this kind of bread, connecting with his family. Like these are deep, deep, rich traditions that aren't just traditions. They connect us to him. Wow. So I don't want to get preachy at you, but no, this is so good. He's Jewish. So he good. didn't he didn't become a Gentile when he sat yeah. next to the yeah. father. He's still Jewish. Yeah. And you know, I, I when I think of you, I think of like sobriety. Uh, because this is so sobering to so many of us. Where it was sobering to me to stand on that weekend, uh, when I looked at Nava and I looked at what we were doing, that covenant with Israel. And I thought to myself, wow, I've not taught my girls. I've not taught my children about the importance of Israel. Like, mm -hmm. and I just felt this repentance mm -hmm. <laughs> of like, oh God, I'm so sorry. Like I, I didn't know, but now that I know, now I what? have to actively choose to, you know, to teach and to instruct. Yes. And so I just feel that moment right now as you're you're sharing what you're sharing. Because I feel like there's so many women on here or people that are going to watch that we've been trained, um, you know, Western mindset of, mm -hmm. you know, it's about the Easter or it's about Christmas and it's about, um, but we so have not been trained about the greater narrative of Israel yeah. and the Jews and and really it's such an anti-semitic yes really spirit yes. we're coming against yes of uh, we've been trained to think anti-semitically like yes. you know like to disregard the jews and so could you lead us i really felt like this could you lead us in a moment if you're here and you're just like man you're like me like i've become so aware now of the greater narrative and how much I want to learn and to know him more as a Jewish man yes. in Israel and but I, I need to be also aware that I've not done that yeah. and so like that repentance moment was so key for me because it yeah. allowed my heart to turn back yes what what was the reality of the gospel yes so could you lead us yes. in a moment yeah. Yes. And I just want to say, you know, for me, something that I've always held on to when it comes to the Lord and things that are out of my realm of familiarity, which this could very well be for so many people. And it's just this heart that says, well, if it's you, God, then I want it. If it's you, I want it. And I think that is a really beautiful place to start. So 
Yeah, I'll just pray. Lord, we, yes. we just declare to you, God, if it's you, we want it. If it's you, if it's, if it's who you are, if it's how you, how you work, if it's how you move on the earth, if it has to do with you coming back, Jesus, we want it. Yes, so, God. Lord, we pray. I pray for every person just within the sound of my voice, God, that there would be an openness. Lord, we lay down our mindsets and our preconceived notions of what you're like. And we say we're open. We want you to teach us about who you truly are. We want to know, Lord. And I just, I break off intimidation. I know so many people are intimidated by this because yeah. they don't understand yeah. and they don't yeah. know. And it's like, well, I don't know how, and I don't know where to start. And and there's so much I don't know. And and so I break off intimidation. I just feel like that is the enemy's tool yeah. to try to keep us from learning mm -hmm. and growing. And I just say, Lord Jesus, we thank you that you send your Holy Spirit to teach yes, us all God. things. You said you would send your Holy Spirit to teach us all things. So we just say, Lord, we want to know you in your fullness. We yes. want to be a bride that is ready for you to return. We want to be a bride that stands with your people. We yes. know, Lord, that your heart still longs for your people and so we want to long for what you long for we want to stand and love your people the way that you do we don't want to be offended lord jesus when you come back we want to be ready we want to prepare our families and so we are asking yes. you in faith god would you teach us would you teach us would you open up this place of revelation in the church that the church would begin to understand that she has Jewish roots, that she has a Jewish identity, that she is inextricably tied in to the yeah, Jewish yeah. people and to the story of Israel. And Lord, we just, we right now, we just want to say a blessing over Israel. We want to say a blessing yeah, over Jewish yeah. people all over the world. And we want to thank you for them. Lord, we want to thank you that you have protected them and we want to repent for any any partnering yes. That, yes. that any of us have done in any anti-semitic um yes, just mindsets God. lord we want to repent for that forgive us lord for any place where we have not honored your people god yes, we pray God. for that any place where we've handed that down to our children even lord anything that was handed down to us from grandparents great grandparents that any anti-Semitic values that have been handed down, Lord, we release forgiveness now to our ancestors, yeah. to our grandparents, yeah. to our great-grandparents. And we plead your blood, Jesus, over them. We pray that you would forgive us and you would yeah. start something new today. We say yes, yes, yes to you starting something new. We say yes to yeah. going on the journey of knowing you. We say yes to you yes, just anointing God. voices like Nava's voice. We say yes, yes to having ears to hear women like yes, her, men God. that carry that heart, that we can yes, learn, God. that we could know more. And so we just humble ourselves, even just as a representatives in the Western church, we humble ourselves and say yes, that there's so much God. we have to learn, so much that we don't know. And we want yes, to be taught. God. Lord Jesus, we want yes. to be taught. We want to be taught. So we bless yes, you. God. We bless you. We bless you. I just thank you. I just say you are doing this now for your return. <laughs> He's preparing us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, as you were like, as you were praying, I just feel like you, uh, you gave us a key, um, which is to go low, you know, like, Amen. There's so much that yes. the Lord can do in our lives as we humble ourselves and we yes. go low and we go to a place of, I don't know. Yes. And you know what? That's okay. Yes. I, he can do a lot with yes. that. I don't know. Yes. Um, yes. I, I just even want to say like, you can be awakened out of that place and not stay in passivity. Right. Or um, yeah. And not, not take action yes in the sense like i see you and you just instantly like take action like you're mm -hmm. 
you know, you obey even with dreams that you've had, you know, mm -hmm. as you were, as you were like speaking, I also felt like Joel 228, that promise of in the last days, like the spirit of the Lord is going to come on all flesh yes. and we're going to have dreams and visions and God's going to speak to us mm -hmm. through a spirit of prophecy. And I feel like that you, you, you carry that so well, like you mm -hmm. just hear the Lord and you're like, okay, the Lord said, like, we're going to, we're going to go, we're going to do mm -hmm. this, you know? And it's so, it's so simple. And, yeah. and it's just a lifestyle of hearing his voice and yeah. obeying. And yes. so I feel like, could yeah. you, let's pray for that uh, for all of us, yeah. you know, uh, not to be limited through this Instagram live, but like Holy Spirit can meet us yes. there and you guys can start experiencing dreams for yourself Yes, and God can speak to you too. Amen. I, um, it's not just me and Lo and, you know, all these other women that have been on here. Yeah. You yes. would just, you know, yes. get dreams and we would get inspired yes. by Holy Spirit and he would teach us and activate us. Yes. You know, I just want to encourage to everyone listening that um, one of the best prayers I ever prayed and still pray is Lord I want to know you I I want to know you I I don't want I don't want to know you um just through Marcella or just through you know Heidi Baker is one of my heroes it's like well that's great <laughs> but like that's always meant to provoke you to an invitation to know him you know it's not just second hand and so um, it's just always been a prayer that is so, he loves to answer. Oh, he takes delight in answering it. So I just bless you women at the sound of my voice to, to ask him, I want to know you. And may we never get away from the simplicity of just saying, I want to know you. I want you to tear down every idea of you that I have that's not you. Yes. And I oh. want to know you. I want to know you in every way that you want to reveal yourself to me, Jesus. I want to know you through your word. I want to know you through dreams, through visions, through visitations, for trances, yes. for everything that there is a biblical precedent for encountering you God I'm asking you for it for me for my children for my for my family I'm asking you I want to know you and so I just declare over I just feel like something that Lord's breaking off of women is hesitancy that like did I really hear that and second guessing and and I just declare over you that it's okay to get it wrong if you're doing it in faith and with a with a right postured heart before him like I think he said this I'm gonna go for it because faith pleases him so I just bless you women to know that your faith pleases him and that faith has action and that it has risk and that it's beautiful take you at your word and so I bless you that the, the